What's up? What's up, my peeps? What's going on, everybody? This your boy, OG Gangster, straight out of Compton, on OG ENT TV. Hit the like button, that subscribe button, and the notification button if you haven't already. So when I'm on, you on. Y'all know what it is. You know, I really don't uh, get into sports that much. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm a fan. You know, I love basketball, baseball, and football, but I really don't talk about it too much. You know what I'm saying? Unless it's about my Lakers or my Raiders. Lakers, Raiders, and Dodgers. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, this Stephen A. Cat, man, this, 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 this guy's a real sellout piece of shit ass brother for real, man. For real, for real, man. You know, I didn't watch him over the years. You know what I'm saying? Especially when I was locked up. You know what I'm saying? We used to watch the sports channels, ESPN, all, all that shit every day. You know what I'm saying? And uh, ever since I've been watching this clown, man, like probably the last, whew, probably the last 20 years, man. This man, this this guy is a straight clown, man. And he's a sellout, man. Man, look, man, this guy don't give a damn about nothing but himself. And them, and them crackers he worked for, man. That's all he care about. You know, he going to dance around and, and tap dance around and make sure they good. He going to make sure whatever he do that, that, that they going to like it. He ain't got a problem throwing a brother up under the bus at all, man. You know what I'm saying? And the only reason that this clown got any kind of relationships with any brothers is because he know he have to. He got to have a relationship with some of the athletes out there because uh, his job is reporting sports and he needed some kind of relationships when things go down or certain things happen and he need interviews with them or need to talk to them. So certain brothers, he got a, he got a relationship with them, but it's fake. They might not know it's fake, but all he's doing is using them for his purpose. He don't give a damn about these brothers. You know what I'm saying? And... At the end, you see, you see, I, you know, what I'm saying he did Kwame Brown. Talked about him so bad it was crazy, man. But you know, I'm glad Kwame did, did get his own podcast, and he came back and roasted his punk ass. You know what I'm saying? The boy was just talking bad about Kwame just just because he didn't like him. You know what I'm saying? But I'm glad Kwame doing his thing, man. His show is a success. And shout out to Kwame Brown, man. Shout out, my brother. You know what I'm saying? And Kyrie Irving, man, how, you, how the hell is you going to, how the hell you going to try to clown Kyrie Irving, man? Kyrie Irving didn't do nothing wrong, man. Nothing wrong. Stephen A., you can kiss these, 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 these white folks' ass all you want, man. But at the end of the day, ain't nobody can judge you but God. But I'm going to say you're a piece of shit because you are. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even standing on man principles. I don't even know if you got any principles. You don't act like you have no principles. You know what I'm saying? Because you're going to do whatever it takes to get a dollar, man. At the end of the day, money ain't... Man, look, man. We all got to live. We all need money to live. But for me, money ain't that important to me where I'm going to sell my soul or sell my people out just to put a smile on a cracker face. You know what I'm saying? Because you definitely a sellout, my brother. You know what I'm saying? You're going to go on there and tell them out. Oh, I called the league office to see why they didn't, why they didn't suspend Russell, Red, uh, suspend Russell uh, uh, Westbrook. Man, that ain't your motherfucking job. You don't work for the league. You know what I'm saying? That ain't your job. You might try to act like it's your job. And you know what I'm saying? And quite frankly, you didn't call them to find out why they didn't suspend Russell Westbrook. You called them to try. You try. You called them to try to influence them to suspend Russell, Russell, Russell Westbrook. That's what you did. You called in there, try down there, trying to influence them to suspend that man. You know what I'm saying? Man, knock it off, man. You know what I'm saying? But I guess uh, Draymond Green, you got a relationship with him. So all the shit that he be doing, you ain't even go. You ain't calling the office about him. You ain't calling off the league office about all the stupid and bullshit antics. Man, come on, Stephen. 
You man, Stephen A, you ain't you, you ain't worth two dead flies, man. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the game, end of the day, sooner or later, they when they get tired of you or when they use your ass up, they gonna throw you to the curb too. They gonna definitely throw you to the curb. You know what I'm saying? And when they do, I'm gonna be right there laughing. Right? And ain't nobody gonna ain't no ain't nobody else gonna wanna fuck with you, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause you done sold your soul, man. You know, you just like all the other sellouts. Go on, put your little top hat on and your tap shoes on and start dancing for them. Cause you know what I'm saying? Cause that's all you doing. And shit. Hmm. That's crazy, man. Everybody that didn't really work with you, brothers, they they say you're a piece of shit. Like Marcellus Wally. He say yeah, you you trash, man. You trash. And you sit up there with that little, you in that little Mal Malika bro. You know what I'm saying? She ain't nothing but a sellout. She don't even like brothers. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't even buy, I don't know why any brother in the league should give her no kind, any kind of interview, period. You know what I'm saying? She got her a little white husband, a little white man at home. You know what I'm saying? And all she do is downweight blacks, man. All she do is downweight brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's real. You know, she ain't worth two dead flies neither. You know, they need to be together. Because both of them trash. Both of them ain't worth nothing. You know what I'm saying? All you brothers out there that's out the least, man. Y'all, none of y'all should give Stephen A. or Malika no interviews. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, make ESPN get rid of their ass by not interviewing with them. Because if you don't interview with them, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no need for them. You know? They don't give a damn about no other black man's job. You know what I'm saying? They stay on there trying to get black men in trouble, get black men fired, get black men fined. So, hey, all you brothers out there, I wouldn't give them one interview, man. Not one interview. And tell your white teammates don't give them none either. That's real. You know, I just wanted to come on here, man, and just say to say to Stephen, they don't give a damn about nobody. And the only reason he got relationships for, for other athletes that's in the league is because he got to. He don't give a damn about y'all, man. He don't give a damn about nobody but himself and 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 and, and uh, his owners. Because <laughs> that's what it basically boils down to. He don't care about nothing but himself and his owners, man. So at the end of the day, hey, it is what it is, man. As far as I'm concerned, Stephen A can eat one up, man. It's your boy OG Gangster, straight out of Compton, on OG ENT TV. Him and Malika, both of them. Both of them. Huh. I'm up out of this B.I.